advances in CMF, social commerce in the US, and how the caring economy will impact the home. That and more on today's episode. Want to know what's next? For over two decades, we've led the world's most influential brands to create the right products at the right time for tomorrow's consumer. This is WGSN's Client Questions Answered. Hello and welcome to the show where our experts from around the globe unpack your biggest challenges. I'm Bethan Ryder, Executive Editorial Director at WGSN. And let's dive right in with our first question, which comes from a client asking, what are the biggest areas of opportunity for advancing CMF design? CMF, if you didn't know, stands for Colour, Materials and Finish. And I'll be handing over to Chloe Gerard, our Senior Consultant at Mindset. CMF design stands for Colour, Material, Finish in Hard Goods Sectors and is an increasingly important differentiator. Consumer tech brands, which are really re-looking at their CMF design strategy, are looking to build a stronger emotional connection to their consumers. Using the right right design cues to create that cultural alignment has the potential to increase the product and the brand relevance. We're seeing that this can take any number of forms and approaches, including the mindful use of um, colours based on their psychological effects, as well as using tactile sensations to evoke feelings of calm or restoration. Colour and materials will increasingly continue to be a critical area to evoke brand values both digitally and physically and really worth that investment to appeal for new or existing markets. Brilliant. Thank you, Chloe, for that answer. On to our next question. This comes from a client asking, what do we need to know about US social commerce and how do you see it evolving in 2022? So let's hear from Melanie Larson. She's a senior strategist on our Insight team. Let's hear her take. In the last two years, we've seen social platforms evolve into full-fledged commerce hubs and super apps in the making. Currently, more than 50% of US Gen Z users make purchases on social media channels, and the US social commerce market is expected to reach over $56 billion by 2023. Western apps are taking commerce queues from China, where social media selling is already a powerful sales tool, and by 2027, Global social commerce will reach $604 billion. In 2022, expect commerce to be a key focus for social platforms as they continue to improve customer experience and their seamless in-app purchase journey. AI integration with shoppable posts and mass live streaming will continue to thrive as well. Really great insights there. It's certainly how my Gen Z daughter shops right now. So our final client question for today asks, how will the care and economy influence the home? Who better to answer this than Lisa White, our creative director and director of interiors, and she's based in Paris. Over to you, Lisa. We are seeing the influence of care culture around the world and the home is really central to this trend because it's where we take care of others and where we take care of ourselves. And our furniture is really expressing this right now. We're seeing furniture that is becoming super curvy, soft and cozy, as if it was something to hug us back. A um, really good example is Faye Two Goods, really soft and puffy armchair that wraps around you like a gravity blanket. Or Sabine Marcellus's um, knitted poof that is basically like lounging in a digital donut. And really important too is plant parenting. It's a huge trend. It's basically a way of resourcing yourself, of caring for something else, um, of breathing easier indoors. And we're seeing uh, the plants of TikTok hashtag that has now reached 4.3 billion views. And basically plant parenting has become so widespread that in 2021, how to move with plants was Googled more than how to move with pets or even how to move with kids. Thanks, Lisa. I know you're very much a plant parent and we'll be covering the care and economy a lot more on our site in the months to come. And that's it for this week. If you have any questions or comments you'd like answered by us and our experts, please pop them in the comments box for our team. I'm Bethan Ryder, and I'll see you next time 